with us. Okay, Virginia Tech football season returns this weekend, as we mentioned. And if you haven't experienced a game live at Lane Stadium, it's one thing that you don't want to miss out on. Yeah, I stopped by to find out what the hype is all about. Take a look. Seeing a football game here at Lane Stadium is an unforgettable experience, but today we're learning about what game day is like for the coach, his family, and a couple of the players. The atmosphere is crazy. I saw like a stat that we've had however many earthquake games here, so that just gives you a, a frame of reference of how crazy it is here. Walking through the tunnel. Just hearing everybody jump, uh, hearing Andrew Sandman get ready to go off, you know. This is going on year four, and, and every time I still get the butterfly, so it's, it's awesome. You know, our, our game day experience is second to none. Um, you know, our entrance is, is special and unique, and uh, when you start to make the walk from the locker room and you can hear uh, the Let's Go Hokies chant, and, and you know it's, it's about to start, and you get in the tunnel, and there are a lot of echoes in that tunnel, and our guys are excited, and then you you got to stand there and kind of catch your breath a little bit and try and soak it in. And, and then when you go take the field, you just get a rush of emotion and, and joy and excitement that everybody should get to experience sometime in their life. When your defense is out there, uh, maybe the other team's offense is coming out. They're in the north end zone and they have to worry about our fans. They can't hear everything like that. And then obviously when we score, it's pretty nice just to, to hear how like definite it is here. Especially on third down defense, you know, I love, uh, you know, hearing them you know, with the keys or, you know, yelling and screaming and jumping, you know, because we need them and uh, it just gives us nothing but a little more motivation to make a play. Not only do we have great fan support in terms of people in the seats, but we have a knowledgeable fan base. They know when to cheer, when to get loud, how to affect the game in a positive manner. They come not to be entertained, but to take part in the game, which I think is unique and, and makes it even a better experience. It's just another example of the pride in Virginia Tech, not just the football program, but the, in, the entire school, the entire community. It's truly an event uh, that's fun to be a part of. When you're a coach of any sports program, you can teach lessons that, you know, come off of the football field. So what are some lessons that you're hoping that the guys take from you? The values of hard work, of perseverance, of stick to itiveness, of continuing to work hard, to push yourself to be the best in everything you do, regardless of circumstances. And also understanding that there's more, there's more than just the game. It's about the process. It's, we don't talk about winning and losing. We talk about doing things the right way on a consistent basis. It gives us an opportunity to have success in, in anything we do in life. Walk me through what it's like for you on game day. We get on the bus and, and come here and do Hokie Walk, and, which is always a, a fantastic show of pride in Virginia Tech and support. We're not just our football team, but the whole kind of collegiate atmosphere. Uh, when I get to the end of Hokie Walk, my girls and, and my wife Jenny are always there, we give big hugs. I hear that you guys, when you see him during the Hokie Walk, what happens? Um, we run up and give him a yeah. hug. And then um, when he finishes walking through, we up and we give all the players a high five yeah. and stuff. We've done that for every game. When we were at Memphis, we did that, and then here at Virginia Tech. So. We wait and um, give him a big hug and give him a big kiss and tell him good luck. And then um, mm. these guys like to see all the players. What is your favorite part of, of game day or of this whole experience? Because it seems like Coach really, you know, he makes his, his family a part of this. You guys are creating this tradition of, of running and seeing him and giving him a hug and, you know, good luck hug. Yeah. And so what's your favorite part of it? Because obviously, you know, you've been with him the whole time. My favorite part um, is probably Enter Sandman. Just, I get, I think, more chills than he does when the game's starting. And then I think afterwards, we go down on the field and get to give him a hug and um, go listen to his post-game press conference. But just kind of the relief of hopefully a win. You know, we win a lot at home. So if somebody has not yet experienced a game at Lane Stadium, what words do you have for them? Well, they're missing out. I mean, I think every college football fan should come. I just start jumping when you see everybody else jumping. Don't ask why. One tip I would say is to be loud and start jumping. <laughs> That's Jump. awesome.
them. They said that's the tip is jump. Absolutely. And you can't help it when you're surrounded by all those fans and the inner Sandman comes out. You, you do. You get chills. Whether you're a fan or not, we went, my husband is a big, big Nebraska fan, and yeah. we went to a Hokie home game, and we couldn't help it. I mean, it was just so exciting. I'm going to go to my first this season. Awesome. Yes. Very good. So, okay, we're so excited. we can cheer them on Monday night. They're yes. Playing in Tallahassee. Right. Against FSU, but then the next home game is September 8th. September 8th. All yes. right.